the s lanker fall back. Subject is approaching. Jun, take cover! Wait! Hello. Get ready for the exclusive breakdown of Criminal Records Season 1 Episode 3, Breakdown and Ending Explained. Warning, spoilers ahead, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. June Lenker decided in the previous episode of Criminal Record that she would not stop until she discovered the truth. She knew the Hayes Lane Caller and Errol's case were linked and that Hegarty was attempting to cover his tracks so that no one would find out what he had done in the past. June had Sonya by her side, and the two ladies vowed to collaborate and aid one another in every way they could. So, let's see what June Lenker discovered and whether she was able to come any closer to determining what happened on that terrible night when Adelaide Burroughs was killed. Hulu Film Self-Reliance Review, Maddie and Tommy Spoiler Alert. Why did Hegarty put June on Isaac's case? At the start of Criminal Record Episode 3, we saw that a small kid named Isaac Whitlow was shot by an unknown man, and the case was turned over to DCI Hegarty and his division. They were running low on manpower, so officers from other departments were asked to volunteer and assist with the ongoing inquiry. Hegarty was the one who authorized the volunteers, and he purposefully chose June Lenker. He wanted to keep her around and see what she was up to. Ken Cardwell, Hegarty's co-worker and friend, kept a tight check on June and her activities, and he realized why he had been requested to babysit her. Hegarty was aware of the Errol Matties and Adelaide Barrow's case, and he was determined not to reveal the truth. There was foul play involved, and Hegarty understood that if the truth got out, his entire existence would be finished. He undoubtedly knew Errol wasn't the murderer, yet he nevertheless filed charges and imprisoned him. Isaac, the youngster who had been shot, amazingly survived, albeit in a coma. The physicians kept him under monitoring after the bullet lodged in his head. In an earlier episode of Criminal Record, Sonia informed June that the woman captured on CCTV, who appeared to be the Hayes Lane caller, was still alive. They began looking for her, and Sonia realized halfway through the investigation that they would require additional assistance. Sonia enlisted the help of Doris and her friends, who began handing out leaflets and speaking with everyone they could to find out if they had seen the woman or knew anything about her location. Hegarty learned about it when he went to meet Tony Guilfoyle, who gave him the pamphlets and made him aware of what was going on under his nose. Tony wanted to chatter about June and warned him that she could destroy their jobs. However, Hegarty did not want to disclose all of his cards to June or do anything that would make his intentions clear. What did June learn from Errol? June was skeptical of transporting all of the evidence from the Adelaide Barrows case to her home, but Sonia insisted on it. Sonia wanted June to go over the full file and recordings in search of something they couldn't locate during the preliminary investigation. June became even more bewildered after reviewing all of the data. It was a really difficult situation, and she couldn't figure out Errol's motivations and objectives. She could not rule him out as a suspect, but the evidence was insufficient to conclude that he was the culprit. Adelaide's blood was found on Errol's clothes, and he attempted to flee with Patrick when he was involved in an accident. Sonia informed June that the detectives considered it a case of murder-suicide, assuming that after killing Adelaide, Errol attempted suicide. However, Sonia pointed out that Errol had not purposefully rammed his car, as he was turning right and possibly heading to his mother's house when the truck hit him from the side. If he had intended to commit suicide, he would have turned in the opposite direction and hit the vehicle head-on. Sonia requested that June go meet Errol in prison because she might be able to gain some information that would help their case. But June was skeptical since she knew she'd have to do it behind Hegarty's back, and if he found out, she'd be in serious danger. However, Sonia told her that she would ensure that no one knew about her visit. What did June learn about Hegarty? At the end of Criminal Record Episode 3, we saw that Hegarty allegedly received a tip, and he learned the name and whereabouts of Jason Reeves, the man who shot Isaac Whitlow. The police went to his house, but he had already escaped. June, who was standing on the periphery, saw him approach her, and before she could react, he shot her. Fortunately for June, he missed the shot, and no harm came to her. The police apprehended Jason and discovered his handgun. Another thing that happened at the end of Episode 3 was that a police officer named Mick Hargreaves phoned June, whom she had previously called to inquire about an old case in which Patrick was apprehended by police but later freed. Patrick was charged with possession with intent to supply drugs, but DCI Hegarty intervened and stated he could vouch for him. Thank you for watching.